I'm the best, so do not test the top of my profession. The master of my chosen field, of that there is no question. Serious, serious profession. Serious, serious profession. Adoro il tuo corpo, ma va bene, ma voglio fare l'amore con te, ma sono solo dolcezza mia. Get a move on! Hey, I'm talking to my mother, huh? So, if that's the way you speak to your mother, you're in serious need of counseling. Hello, Janice. Thank you very much, Vincenzo. Vincenzo, water. We require water here. Water. Janice, look, it was all my fault. We must talk. Please, can we... to look out for in a potential suicide is irrational behavior. Mm -hmm. Now, who saw him last? Oh, that was me. He was outside in reception. Yeah, what was he doing? I was kneeling by the payphone, hitting money. <laughs> oh, with a meat tenderizer. <laughs> and he was saying things to the money. Things like, you didn't think I'd let you get away with that, did you, you coin? <laughs> oh, and he set a phone book alight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everton. Huh? It's one in the morning. Yeah. You're tired. Yeah. We're all tired. You were hallucinating. No, honestly. I... <laughs> Die! Coins of evil! <laughs> Die! You don't like that, do you? You don't like that, do you? Go on, whine like the minted currency you are! Something wrong. <laughs> I'm going to do it. It's too late. Come on. You're nearly a single guy. You can do whatever you want to now. Got to get out there. Hit the nightclubs. Yeah. You're unattached. A stud. A sexual time bomb waiting to explode. Yeah, you've got to walk the walk. You've got to be a babe magnet. This is not the time for talk. This is the time for action, Gareth. What you need is a bit of juice in your walk and some funk in your trousers. Or is that the other way around? Come on. This is the rest of your life you're talking about here. Come on, big guy, hit it. Two thousand pieces, that should do it. <laughs> Gath, mind if I come in? Well, actually, Cyril, it is two o'clock in the morning and I rather thought I'd go into that darkened room and lie down on that thing we laughingly call bed. Who are you talking to? I'm over here. <laughs> Wondering how you're getting on, how you're coping. I know what it's like when you split up with your bird. Bird? What a quaint expression. How very 60s, how very Carnaby Street, how very Mary Quant. <laughs> Janice is not a bird. How are you fixed with the divorce, then? <coughs> Might not get divorced. Might get back together again. No chance. Once the rot's set in, you might as well pull the plug and flush the old rotten, stinking lot down the toilet. <laughs> Cyril, have you ever considered working for the Samaritans? <laughs> a jigsaw? Well, that is a bit sad, isn't it? You don't want to do that. You want to uh, hang out, go to clubs, pull yourself a bit of fluff and have it away. And I'm the sad person, am I? Look, 
what it is is I have this daughter, Rini, in Switzerland, and she hasn't, shall we say, found her true vocation in life as yet. She has as yet still to discover the particular. She is area. not going to work in my restaurant. <laughs> All these other jobs she's had, you know, model, graphic designer, shepherd, fortune teller. Wait, wait. Did you say shepherd? Well, even she admits that was a mistake. That's why she's coming back. She, uh, she lost her flock. <laughs> well, I mean, it wasn't her fault. Her electronic tagging system went haywire. It could have happened to anybody. <laughs> yes, Cyril. I'm constantly bumping into female shepherds saying, where are my flock? Oh, there they are. Oh, no, they're gone. <laughs> Look, you said yourself, you need more help in the kitchen, and she needs a firm hand. She needs someone who can bring peace and harmony where there is chaos. Cyril, I'm a cook, not Nelson Mandela. <laughs> she is not going to work in my restaurant. Ah, uh, when you say my restaurant, that's not strictly true, is it? Uh, not anymore. <laughs> Whose restaurant is it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear that. Whose restaurant is it? Your restaurant. <laughs> Louder. Say it louder. All right, all right, it's your restaurant. But it's my kitchen and it's my cooking that's made it successful. I'm still chef and I still decide who we hire and fire. Of course you do, of course you do. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Everyone, this is Rini. Renee. I'm sorry? It's Renee, not Rini. Renee, there's an accent graph over the second E. Renee. I see, what a faux pas. Oh, it's okay. It's just that it's Renee. And I expect you really hate being called Rini. Oh, loathe it. <laughs> My chums at finishing school used to rip me about it all the time. <laughs> How awful. I do apologise. Oh, apology accepted. Everybody, this, are you sure this is okay? Oh, it's a simple mistake. Anybody could have made it. This is Rini. <laughs> Rini's going to be working with us in the kitchen. Get that right, lass. <laughs> Rini will in time, no doubt, become a valuable member of the kitchen staff, but seeing as Rini isn't as yet experienced, I want you all to make sure that Rini learns the ropes, <laughs> as I'm sure she wants to. He, there's notes of funny as fork, isn't that right, Rini? <laughs> You'll be working with Gustav. Savannah. Everton. Right, well, time's running on. Let's uh, get on with it. Where are you going? Home. I mean, I've met everybody. Isn't that enough for my first day? <laughs> you, you haven't quite got the hang of this yet, have you? Come over here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Chop. <laughs> Chop, not hack. It's OK. The police will throw a cordon round the building. The murderers are still in here somewhere. We'll track them down. <laughs> Savannah, draw a chalk outline round these carrots. <laughs> oh, has anybody got 50p? Oh, I might have to... uh, You're not going to hit it, are you? <laughs> Careful. We don't want to bore into the Earth's core, do we? <laughs> yeah, let me. No, let her. People can be so cruel, can't they? I know. Oh, by the way, um, sorry to hear about your sheep. I promise you, if you just do your job, you will get out of here alive. Understand? Good. Hello, Janice. So, how's she doing? Who? Rainy, who do you think I'm talking about? How's she doing? On a scale of one to ten, how are you with fractions? Oh, not that bad. Anyway, she's got other qualities. <laughs> Such as? Well, I mean, she's ever so pretty. <laughs> I was forgetting about the prettiness factor. Yes, 
I remember when Gustav first came to work here. It wasn't the fact that he was a great chef or that he worked in some of the best restaurants in the country. Oh no, we wanted him because he was so bloody pretty! Google it. Ah! Oh, no, no, keep your hand on the I am not your son! I will never ever be your son! Cyril, have you got a 50p? Cyril? Dad? <laughs> Don't ever tell anybody I play you. goes into a room and there's this naked guy there and she goes ah! <laughs> well it seemed like too good an opportunity to miss okay what it is right the kids gotta go Rini stroke Renee Gustav and I have talked it over and we both agree Gustav and I have talked it over I take it this is the same Gustav who yesterday you threatened to circumcise with a live lobster <laughs> we come to the conclusion that mutual loathing shouldn't come before practicalities she's gotta go what does Everton think? What does Everton think? Everton can't think. All he can do is drool. He's crazy about her, and that's the problem. I mean, now, uh, yesterday was probably a one-off, and we got away with it. Yesterday? This is such a great apartment. Savannah. You were in Cyril's office. Everton's dish, the pheasant. Eight covers were sent back. Words like shoe and leather were heard spoken often in conjunction. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Gustav and I covered for him. It is not Everton's fault, it's Renee's fault. If she was doing her job and he didn't have to cover for her all the time, this never would have happened. Right, that's it. I'm going to kill Cyril Bryson. No, that's too quick, too easy. First, I'll disembowel him, saving his entrails for stock, of course. <laughs> then I'll section him piece by piece and roast over a slow, low heat. No, why should he have it easy? Over a high heat! And then I, Gareth Blackstock, will present my brand new culinary masterpiece to the world. Braised head of Cyril Bryson in a port wine and tarragon sauce with an accompaniment of parboiled lips and nipples. <laughs> yes! Cyril Bryson's going to earn me my third Michelin star! Atta boy! Who cares if she's the boss's daughter? Big deal! I mean, you're the guy in charge. Am I right? You are right! I am right! Ah! <laughs> I mean, whose restaurant is it? <laughs> I mean, who's, who's running this place anyway? You or him? Savannah, you are right, which is why I'm going to have some very strong words to say to Renee. You're not going to kill Cyril? When I said I was going to kill Cyril, what I actually meant to say was that I was going to have serious words to say to Renee. <laughs> You're going to fire her? Something along those lines. <laughs> We're talking at least a very severe ticking off. <laughs> I'm really going to tell that girl to, 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 to pull her socks up. <laughs> Maybe that's too strong. <laughs> I'll talk to Everton. Hey. You're a tiger. Everton, how many times have I told you, never go out with somebody in the business? It never, ever, ever works out. I can't help it, Chef. I love her. <laughs> I do. It's just the way she looks at me, Chef, like... <laughs> I'm sorry, Everton, I didn't know you'd had a lobotomy. No, 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 it's the way she looks at me, Chef, like... I'm sorry, Everton, it does nothing for me. That's because I'm doing it to you and you're not me and I'm not Renee. Look, Chef. If you were me, and I was Renee, and I looked at you like... <laughs> your heart will be jumping all over the place, too. And suddenly it's all so much clearer. Everton, listen to me. How long have we known each other? Haven't I always given you good advice? Yeah. So all I'm saying is... Except about the wall. Sorry? You didn't give me good advice about the wall. Remember? We climbed up on the wall in the schoolyard next to the co-op, and you said to me that I'd be all right if I jumped. <laughs> So I jumped. I bust my head, Chef, remember? Everton, that was over 20 years ago. You can't expect me to remember a little thing like that. Anyway, I said to roll, remember? 
When he hit the floor, I said, Everton, roll like a paratrooper. And did Everton roll like a paratrooper? No, he did not. Everton, a word of advice. Never use your head to break a fall. It can seriously damage your health. You're telling me. Anyway, who was it who came with you in the ambulance? Who was it who sat with you in casualty? Who was it who wheeled you in for your x-ray? My mum. Who was it who... Was it? Yes. <laughs> You went off to play football. I don't think so. We were playing Bishop Milner Boys School in the cup final. We won 2 0. 3 0. I scored a hat trick. <laughs> so, what are you saying here, Everton? That I haven't been a good friend to you? No, no. Chef. My point is, is that you're not always right. I mean, you're usually right, right? Apart, Apart from... from the wall. Yeah. <laughs> All this business about not going out with somebody in the business, I mean, just because it didn't work out between you and Janice. It doesn't mean Rene and me can't make a go of it. Make a go of it? Yeah. Everton, you've only known the girl for five minutes. The next thing you'll be telling me is you've been holding hands, staring into jeweler's windows. <laughs> Everton! And last but not least, ten pounds of smoked salmon. In short, I imagine we're talking somewhere in the region of two thousand pounds. Two thousand pounds worth of food down the drain, and all because some bloody idiot turned the generator to the freezer off last night. This is the eye of the needle that breaks the camel's back. <laughs> now, I am a reasonable man. Now, what exact but... level of reasonable are we talking here, Cyril? Adolf Hitler reasonable? <laughs> Attila the Hun reasonable? What about some of the smaller guys? Stalin or Jack the Ripper? All right. Who was it? Which of you deadbeats did it? I want to know. Thank you very much, Inspector Morse. <laughs> Savannah. Gustav. Rene. No, no, it wasn't her. She's calm and sensible. No way was it Rene. <laughs> Rene! My name is Rene, you silly, stupid, horrible working class man. And if you ever call me by that name again, I'm going to take every single one of your shirts, cut them to ribbons with razor blades, and throw them in the dustbin. <laughs> I think the words the man used were calm and sensible. <laughs> Rene. Everton. So it's a... It was my fault, Chef. Everton! Well, I was helping Rene clear up last night and I must have switched off the generators by mistake. I'm sorry, Mr. Bryson. I think you and me need to talk, don't you? All right, you look and clear off. <laughs> well, a certain member of our staff is not pulling their weight, wouldn't you say? Well, it's not Everton's fault. It's your stupid, brain-dead, airhead of a daughter that's the problem. No offence. <laughs> well, that's why she's got to go. Well, look, I might look an idiot, Garth. But I do know what's what. I expect he fancies her, yeah? Truly, madly, fingers down the throat sickeningly. Yeah, it's the same old problem. She gets a job, she's useless at it, so then she latches onto somebody else and gets them to do it for her. Yes, and then you think, I know, why not give her a job in one of the best restaurants in England? Then she can screw up again. <laughs> it's all so logical now. <laughs> but it's not my fault. What Rini wants, Rini gets. You just have to work with her. It's me she comes home to. She makes my life hell. Every man has his athlete's foot, Gareth. Heel. <laughs> Achilles heel. Every man has his one of them that you just said. <laughs> Mine goes by the name of Rene. Rene. I mean Rene. Hey, we'll get rid of her. I'll send her away again. Paris or France or somewhere. <laughs> we can't have Rene working in our restaurant. Ah, I don't mean to be picky here or anything, Cyril. But when you say our restaurant, that's not strictly true anymore, is it? Well, I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that, Cyril. Whose restaurant is it? My restaurant. Louder, say it louder. <laughs> OK, OK, it is my restaurant. But it's your kitchen, and you're the one who made it successful. You're still the chef and you're still in charge. And you say who you hire and fire, so you get rid of her. And you say she makes your life hell? Oh, it's a living nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> what? Actually, Cyril, I was rather thinking of keeping her on. But she can't even chop a carrot, for God's sake! Oh, but she's ever so pretty. <laughs> Garth Blackstock, I demand that you sack my daughter! Oh, come on, Cyril. 
It's so great when she looks at you like this. <laughs> Everton, get back to your job. Yes, sir. Renee, do you want to work here? Gareth Blackstock's creed, committed to memory. I will work very long hours for very little money. In the winter, I will always be hot. In the summer, I will be even hotter still. In time, my hands will develop a heat-resistant quality that even NASA would be proud of. I am the lowliest of the low, but given time and the opportunity, and by my own effort, I will become a valued member of staff. Are we agreed? Good. Oh, there's one other thing. When I get home, I will take all of my father's shirts out of the wardrobe and cut them into ribbons with a razor blade and throw them into a dustbin. But isn't that a particularly horrible thing to do? Oh, yes. OK. Oh. Where are you going? I've got a mark just here. <sighs> Renee, come. come I'm going to have to be cruel to be kind. Do you understand? <laughs> Renee, do we understand each other now? Renee. Well, what are we waiting for? Everton, I'm sorry, you wait to be evacuated. <laughs> Come on, Everton. We all know it wasn't your fault. We all know it was down to Renee. Now, isn't this an interesting ladle? Haven't I always said that? Yes. <laughs> Apart from the relative merits of ladles, am I missing something here? Renee and Everton. She's going out with Vincenzo. Vincenzo the waiter? Yeah. Mr. Deep. Right. <laughs> is that you or is it the... No, it's the onions. Sorry to hear about you and Renee. Is that you or is it? The... <laughs> like you said, Chef, don't go out with somebody in the business. So, what was I to do? Which way would I go? Renee, or my career? It was cruel, Chef, but I had to do it. <laughs> so, she dumped you then? Yeah. <laughs> is that you or is it? The... It's me. Oh. <laughs> Everton. Never go out with anybody in the business. Didn't I say that? <laughs> Haven't I always given you good advice? <laughs> Apart from the wall. <laughs> it never works out, Everton. Never works out. I mean, just look at Janice and I. I mean, look at all the time we spent together. All those years. <laughs> is that you, or yes, is it? <laughs> You try really hard, you really do, and you, you get on in life. <laughs> And then you start to neglect the other person and it all falls apart. Is that you or is it? No, it's me. <laughs> So bad for you. Don't go all the way around. You'll hurt your neck. Go like this, side to side. Feel my neck. Savannah. No, feel my neck. <sighs> oh, that is so good. Tighter. Tighter. <laughs> tough night. Yeah, really tough night. <laughs> One o'clock. Well, the shops are shut. Well, they are. And Selfridges have got a sale on. Well, I won't be able to get to it, will I? I'll be working here, and when I finish working here, all the shops will be shut. 
It's sad. <laughs> Life can be so cruel. <laughs> Renee, hmm? why did you dump Everton for Vincenzo? Oh, well, Everton's really nice. He's good looking and he's really kind and he helped me out in the kitchen and he took the blame for the freezer when everyone knows it was my fault. But Vincenzo has a much bigger car. <laughs> Well, as long as it was nothing shallow. Night -night. Shall we? Why not? On three. Three. Night, night Rini! Rini. <laughs> Everton, do you want to come up? Sad. Never go out with anybody in the business. Absolutely. It never works out. Never works out. Oh, sorry. No problem. Here, let me. Oh. But then again, you know, I mean, who are we to judge? Maybe sometimes it can work out. Exactly. Who are we to sit in judgment? Never get involved with anyone in the business, huh? Never. Right. Oh, why am I going to regret this? This is not the time or the place. Um, I just wanted to say that I think you are drop-dead gorgeous. <laughs> Good night. Hey. Right. Come on, Janice, please be in. Janice, listen, don't hang up. I just wanted to say that I miss you and I love you and I want to feel your body next to mine. I want to make love to you. I want to lick chocolate from all over your body. I, I want it. To... Is this 712494? <laughs> Wait a second, don't hang up. Do you deliver? <laughs> So do not test the top of my profession The master of my chosen field Of that there is no question Take the time to listen to what I have to say So what I have to say That we have to play It's serious A serious profession Serious 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 profession Serious